Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast covers section 9.5 correlations, including 9.6 Spearman's rank correlation and 9.7 Pearson's product moment correlation. Research biologists are always trying to figure out how biological systems function. This path to discovery often starts with an observation that changes in a biological trait may be linked to changes in another trait or an environmental factor. This is often detected by the eye seeing a possible relationship when the data is plotted as a scatter graph. Here, it looks highly likely that the shell hardness is related to how much supplement is eaten. Often, however, many other biological and environmental factors can affect the trait we are interested in, and it would be difficult to be sure there is a relationship with so much noise about. You can see these points do not form a perfect straight line. This is where we can use the Spearman's rank correlation and the person's product moment correlation to give an indication whether the relationship you see is real. The person's product moment test is used on parametric data. If you do not know if your data is parametric, then check out my screencast called Is My Data Normally Distributed? If your data is not parametric or you are unsure, then you can use the Spearman's rank correlation. I have already entered data into Minitab from the table 9.8, so let's do the tests. First, we track up to the Stats menu option and click to reveal a drop-down menu. Hover over the Basic Statistics option and then click on the Correlation option that should appear in the drop-down menu sublist. A window like this should open. As you can see, the window has two boxes. The box on the left contains the variables in our data sheet. The box on the right needs to contain the variables that we want to do the analysis on. So I must go and select them. I'm going to select amount of food supplement, highlighting it, then pressing select. Then I'm going to select hardness of shell, highlighting it, and pressing select. These two variables now appear in my variables box. I now need to select the test that I want to do. As you can see, it is already selected Pearson's correlation. If I click the little arrow to the right of the box, I can also select Spearman's rank. But let's stick with Pearson's for the time being. I now click the OK button to run the test. The results appear in the session window. We can see here that Pearson's correlation of the amount of food supplement and hardness of shell is equal to 0 0.994. But what does this mean? The correlation coefficient is a number between 1 and minus 1. That tells us how closely our data is linearly correlated, with 1 or minus 1 meaning perfectly correlated, while 0 means the points are not correlated at all. As you can see, I've drawn some scatter graphs to illustrate these points. The middle graph, which has an R value of 1, shows that all the data points lie on a straight line. But as the R value decreases from 0 0.85, 0 0.7, you can see the scatter of the points around the line increases until we eventually reach an R value of 0 where you cannot functionally draw a line through it at all. The points are totally scattered. A minus correlation coefficient suggests that as x increases, y decreases, so the slope is in the opposite direction to a positive R value. So a value of 0 0.994 for the Pearson's product moment correlation suggests our data is strongly correlated. But is this due to random chance? After all, our null hypothesis states that there is no relationship between the data. This is where the second result is important, the probability value. In this case, the p-value is equal to 0 0.000. But what does this mean? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0 0.05 in the biological sciences. But the smaller the p-value, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. And for some experiments, a transition p-value of 0 0.01 or even 0 0.001 may be preferable. The p-value, as stated, is zero, suggesting we can reject the null hypothesis and that our data is correlated. In reality, Minitab is telling us that the p-value is below 
0 0.000. What happens if we do the same test with the Spiemann's rank correlation? We go up to the stat menu and click. We hover over the basic statistics in the drop down menu that appears and then we track down to correlation in the sub menu. Again the window opens. You can see that my variables are still in the variable box. All I need to do is to select Speeman's row from the drop down box and press OK. The correlation coefficient for Speeman's rank data test is called Speeman's row and in this case we can see it's equal to 0 0.983. Again very close to 1 suggesting that we have a strong correlation. But is this due to random factors and freaky data? Well the p-value again is effectively 0 suggesting we can have confidence in our correlation. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test or the theory behind it then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.